It is uh, Thursday, March 25, 2021, and we're going to read a verse today from Hebrews 4.15. We're continuing to look at what, what it is that was finished and what was completed when Jesus said, Teleos, it is Teleos on the cross. It's, it's been uh, accomplished. Um, one of the things that went on throughout Jesus' life was a battle with evil, and we hear that referred to in Hebrews 4.15. We do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our, our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been piros, which means tempted or tested as we are, yet without sin. Um, we're aware, I think, all of us, that life is, is a battle with evil. And we feel that inside of us. We feel a conflict when we're thinking about actions that we might take and when or when we're presented with a possibility that we we're, we think is morally uh, dubious, but which we feel an attraction toward. At that moment, there's a conflict within us. We, of course, see a battle with evil on the outside all the time. We see a battle for the truth when the world is full of lies. We see a battle for peace when the world is full of violence. We see a battle for connection and community when there's so much attempt these days to divide people. So there's a battle that goes on with evil and Jesus experienced this battle. It, his, his ministry was preceded by a kind of a preview of the battles that he would face during his ministry of the temptations. And those temptations were to use his divinity to impress others, to kind of buy votes and attention uh, by producing uh, bread, to uh, generate faith through spectacular proofs, you know, to, to, to do an airdrop, to, to show, to display characteristics no other human being had in order to uh, attract through the sheer uh, ability and power that Jesus possessed, uh, or to coerce power, to use power coercively rather, to, uh, to force people to bend the knee, to have allegiance, to obey uh, God's law. And in, in, by taking up any of those temptations, he would have been abandoning the way of God because God is a God who appeals through truth. He appeals through love. He appeals through a grace. Uh, and there's a freedom that we have to respond in those things. Uh, he doesn't rule by sheer power. And Jesus, throughout his ministry, refused to use any of those illicit means. He never gave in. He never manipulated. He never compelled. Uh, he never used means that were uh, incompatible with God's character. And in so doing, he defeated evil. In a very practical sense, we have an opportunity every day to defeat evil when we, when we choose the right path instead of the wrong path. When, we're, when we refuse to demean someone, when we respond to someone who's angry by not getting angry, by listening well, by being gracious in that moment, we have a small victory over evil. We defeat evil. Jesus did it consistently through his life. It culminated on the cross. Let's take a moment to pray. Lord, in order to defeat evil in our lives, we need your power, we need the presence of your spirit, we need your encouragement, and when we fail, we need your forgiveness. Help us to enter the battle knowing that the one, we have the right person, as Luther says, on our side. The spirit and the gifts are ours, and uh, you have willed that uh, you will triumph through us. And so help us to trust that in our own battles with evil. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen.